Mungu liweze kutufikia. Allow our leader to speak with us. E, Tumruhusu kiongozi wetu aongee nasi. Praise be to Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I want to just welcome him now. Nataka nimkaribishe kwa muda wa sasa. Please help me welcome him. Tafadhali munisaidie kumkaribisha. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. God bless you Bishop. Amen. Amen. Mwana Yesu sifiwe. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Na usalimu nyote kwa jina la mwokozi anayetupenda Yesu Kristo. Praise the Lord Kwaya. Mwana Yesu sifiwe Kwaya. I love uniform. Napendezwa na sare yenu. You dress richly. Mmejivika kila dipu. Amen. The Lord bless you. Mungu awabariki. And uh, the junior school also who blessed us here with a wonderful song. Na wana, Thank you also to their teachers. Na wana Sunday wali tubariki na nyimbo ya ajabu. Shukrani kwa mwalimu wenu. And also the senior Sunday school. Ata wale vijana wa na Sunday pia. I am here today. Niko hapa siku ya leo. And also with apologies last last time I was to come but there was need for me to attend to another issue in our church in Huruma so I went to Huruma and of course the bishop must have uh, uh, explained that that is why I could not come Nimekuja hapa nikiwaomba radhi sababu mara ya mwisho ingestyle nije hapa lakini sikuweza kufika sababu nilikuwa nimebanwa na shughuli fulani kule kanisani Huruma na ninaamini askofu tiari ashawajulisheni sababu singeweza kufika but praise be to God I am here. Eh Bwana la Bwana lisifike sababu niko hapa. How many of you are alive today? Wangapi wa, wanaishi siku ya leo? And those who are dead also raise your hand. Na wale ambao wamekufa wapo tafadhali inweni mikono tuwaone. Amen. It's nobody. Hakuna mmoja. So we don't need to perform and have a resurrection service. Kwa hivyo sasa hatutahitaji kuwa na huduma ya kufufua watu. Amen. Amen. Uh, my heart goes out to our sister Dorcas. Moyo wetu inamwendea dada wetu Dorcas Juma. My heart and our heart. Yes. Moyo wetu ama moyo wangu inamwendea dada wetu Dorcas Juma. Uh, the wife to our departed brother Juma. Mkeo ndugu wetu aliyetuaga Joseph Juma Yogo Yongo and uh, we know that our dear sister Dorcas is care of welfare na tunafahamu ya kwamba dada wetu Dorcas Juma ndio mwenyekiti ya welfare and my heart goes out to you our sister Dorcas haya moyo wangu inakujia wewe dada yetu Dorcas you got the news when you were in the women's conference ulipata taarifa ulipokuwa katika kongamano ya akina mama kule kanisani buruburu and i remember how it was so difficult to announce even to the ladies who were at the conference that you had had this particular uh, sad news na ninakumbuka jinsi ilivyokuwa ni vigumu sana kuwatangazia akina mama ulio nao katika kongamano ya kwamba ulipata msiba is our uh, sister Dorcas here or she is uh, away today? Je, dada wetu Dorcas yu hapa ama leo hayupo. She is not in. Hayupo, nice in leo. And please pass to her. Na tafadhali umjulishe. My condolences and that of my wife, Reverend Agnes Kwaka. Rambi rambi zangu, pamoja na zake mke wangu, kasisi Agnes Kwaka. And all of us in Buruburu, and also in the regional team na sote tulio katika kanisa la buruburu na eneo la Nairobi West region how things happen and when they happen those will live in the hands of god vile vitu vilivyo vile mambo yalivotendeka na jinsi ile aliyotokea yote tunawaacha mkononi mwa jehova and as the bible says for Jin some of those things by and by we will understand na jinsi biblia inavyosema Hizo vitu vinavyotokea tutazielewa. 
I remember our late Archbishop used to like the song. Ninakumbuka Askofu Parehemu alikuwa anapenda wimbo called By and By When the Saints Go Marching Home. Nyimbo ambayo inasema Hatua kwa hatua waumini wanapotembea wakiendelea mbele. And we will understand it better by and by. Na tutaweza kuyafahamu vyema hatua kwa hatua. I want us to just take a few moments to pray for our sister uh, Dorcas Juma. Nataka tuchukue muda mfupi tuweza kumwombea dada wetu Dorcas Juma. I'm not sure if any of her children is here or are here. Sijui kama mtoto wake mmoja ama wawili huenda wakawa hapa. If there isn't again no problem we want to pray for the family. Kama hawapo hakuna shida tutataka kuombea familia hii. And I'm going to ask uh, my dear bishop na nitamsi askofu uh, wetu please and Sadra uh, Kadino pastor pamoja na mchungaji Sadra Kadino tafadhalaini we will pray for them who lives near uh, Dorcas's place kama Dorcas na watoto hawapo yule ambao anaishi karibu na wao where are you uko wapi unaishi karibu na dada Dorcas no nobody is around but that is fine we are going to pray for them hata kama hawapo hiyo ni sawa bado tutawaombea I'm going to of the cell group is here. Uh, katibu wa just, cell group hiyo yuko hapa. Just come and stand here in the place. Tafadhali utakuja hapa uchukue mahala pao. This two dear ones are going to give two short prayers. Hawa pendwa watakupa maombi mfupi. Microphone if you have. Kipasa sauti kama mko nayo. Um or we share these ones. They have, have extra ones. Yeah. And then I will also pray briefly. Nakisha mimi pia nitaomba baadaye kwa ufupi. And uh, when Dorcas comes back, please give to her our very very special condolences. Atakapo rejea dada wetu Dorcas, mpe rambi rambi zetu. We may not understand, but tell her the Lord understands. Wenda sisi tukakosa kuelewa lakini umjulishe Mungu ajua. Let us pray. Na tuombe. Amen. Dear everlasting heavenly Father, you are the beginning and the end of all things. And under the heavens you've put everything to happen at its own divine time, O oh God. God, this afternoon as we stand before your holy presence, we bring our sister, our mom, Dorcas Juma, and the children that she's left with before thee. And God of comfort, we pray for your comforting spirit upon them. And God of peace, we pray for your peace upon them. God of strength, we pray for strength upon them, O oh God. The Bible records that you are God of the widows and you are God of the orphans. Father, we pray that your eyes of favor, eyes of mercy, shall be upon this family that is left behind. God, I pray for your divine protection. God, I pray that you are going to be their shield and buckler. God, I pray that you are going to be their provider and sufficient supplier. God, I pray that you are going to be their all in all at this time of need, my Father. God come through for them. God minister to them. God reach their hearts which man cannot reach, O oh God. We commit them in your hands, Father. Watch over them. Bless them. Minister to them, Father. Lord, we say thank you because you understand them much more than we do. Father, minister to them and meet them at the very points of their needs. God, we thank you and we bless you. We honor thee and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Heavenly Father, yours is the glory and the honor. Thank you because you love us beyond the grave. Even in death, we still belong to you, and none is lost from your sight, my Father. You alone have what it takes 
to give supplies without stop, to give comfort without end, to give that which is required to make the family of our late brother Joseph Jumayongo, that which will carry them through even to the end of times. We pray, O King of Glory, that your mercies abound in that house, that your loving kindness remain in that house. Lord, that your favor abounds in the place, and the help be their portion, O God. Let them be protected in the city and in the countryside. Let them, my Father, remain in your eyes constantly through and through for the glory and honor of your own holy name. So I pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. And God of heaven, thank you for the life of our brother, Juma Yongo. For the time that he was with us, we bless you. And O oh God of all creation, as our dear two pastors have prayed, bless and cover the family for eternity. Let them see your glory and let favor follow them every inch and every day of their lives. Let schooling be good. Let food be available. Let clothing be available and let every other need be provided by your own mysterious hands, O oh God. For we pray and thank you for the provision in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us all say amen. 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 God bless you. Mungo God bless you. Thank you. And uh, again, very quickly, before I share from the word, I was delighted about the KCPE results that I'm hearing from many, many of our churches in the west of Nairobi. Including Buruburu Church. Pamoja na kanisa la buruburu. And I wanted to take this opportunity Nataka nichukue kursa hii ya kipeke To thank God for those uh, of our children who sat for KCP exams Kumshukuru mungu kwa ajili ya watoto wetu waliofanya mtihani wa darasa la nane And even though everybody will go to form one Ingawaje, kila mmoja ataweza kujiunga na kidato cha kwanza. I am so, so delighted that Mimi. everybody that I'm seeing on the list here did pretty well. Na furaia ya kwamba kila mmoja ambayo nimeona imeandikwa jina lake katika orodha ninayo hapa, walifanya viema sana. And we praise God for the results of our children. And even if it is, there is one who got the lowest marks, you know it that not long ago there was this news about somebody who got D in class. Munafahamu ya kwamba haijachukua muda sana tangia mpokea taarifa ya kwamba kuna mmoja ambaye alipata alama ya da. And um, we know the story for those of us who read it. Person worked his way and got into university and did excellently well. In fact, he got a first class degree. Mwafahamu hiyo story na wengi tunajua alijiunga na chuo kikuu akafanya vizuri na kapita na katoka na alama ya first class degree and i can assure you that even those of our children naweza kukuhakikishia ya kwamba wale watoto wetu there is nobody who is a failure hakuna hata mmoja wao ambaye ni mtu ambaye asiyeweza kufaulu and i can assure you that even those who get d na and d minus in form 4 yes the world still has space for you. Na kwa kikishia ya kwamba ata wale wale pata alama ya da, 
Ulimwengu bado kuna nafasi ambapo unaweza kufaulu. In fact, even those who have gotten E, those are not failures. Hata wale walipata alama ya E hawajaanguka kamwe. And as results are going to come out for form 4, tunapotarajia matokeo ya kidato cha 4 itokee. Are there any form 4s here who are waiting for exam results? Yes, kunao Wan, wale waliofanya mtihani wa kidato cha 4 je mko hapa mpo amen and parents whose children sat for hata wazazi ambao watoto wao walifanya kidato cha 4 wazazi ambao watoto wao walifanya kidato cha 4 wachani waone kwa mikono zenu amen amen whatever results your child gets matokeo yoyote mtoto wako atapata don't begin to abuse the child Usiwe na hali ya kuanza ya kumfanyia mtoto visivyo. And I want you to know that even if that child comes with the lowest marks in this church. Na nakwambia hata kama mtoto wako atakuwa amepata alama ya chini zaidi katika kanisa hili. There is still room in Kenya nowadays for that same same child to go through training and go to university if the child wants to go to university bado kunao nafasi kwa nchi yetu ya Kenya ya kumuwezesha mtoto kufanya kupata mafunzo na kujiunga na chuo kikuu ili aweze kufaulu kwa maisha kama anataka kama anataka yes because not everybody has to go to university but there is space for everybody to go sio ya kwamba kila mmoja ataenda chuo kikuu lakini kuna nafasi ya kila mmoja wetu kufanya hivyo and those with the lowest marks can start with what we call artisan courses na wale wako na alama ya chini kabisa wanaweza kujiunga na tahasisi and then they can do certificate courses na wanaweza kufanya masomo ya kupata cheti and from certificate they can do diploma uh, programs kutoka certificate wanafanya diploma and as soon as a child finishes the diploma straight to university na mara mtoto anapomaliza diploma anajiunga na chuo kikuu so every parent every child don't give up on yourself kila mzali kila mtoto usife moyo na wewe binafsi and then we have what we call tivet programs na tena kuna kile ambacho kinaitwa ratiba ya tivet where you can go and do a practical course ambapo unaweza kupewa nafasi ya kujifunza kufanya kazi kiasili according to your ability and according to what you have a passion for eh, kulingana na uwezo wako ama kulingana na ile taaluma ungependa kufuata the programs that are available by the government gives everybody a chance and there is no reason why any child should sit and at home Uh, morning and the father morning and the mother morning and saying sasa tutafanya nini no there is space now Seri. for that same child to move and shock you and surprise you when that child gets to university or to higher institution of learning serikali ya Kenya sasa hivi kuna mpango ya kumwezesha huyo mtoto kupiga hatua kwa hivyo hakuna maana ya, seri, ya, ya mzazi kulia ya kwamba nitafanyaje nitafanyaje huyo mtoto akona nafasi ya kwenda mbele na kisonga mbele akitaka atakushangaza na utaona anafanikiwa kama wenzake. We are so blessed in uh, Voice of Salvation and Healing Church. Tumebarikiwa katika kanisa la sauti wokovu na uponyi that one of the key architects of the Tivet program is a member of our church. Ya kwamba mmoja wapo ya waanzilishi ya ratiba ya Tivet ni mwana kanisa la sauti ya wokovu is the for, former deputy director of technical education elder Zachary Oko are we together ndiye ni yes, yes. yeah. ni yeye alikuwa naibu ya mkurugenzi anayesimamia mambo ya kusomea kazi ya asili ya Technical University ambaye anaitwa Elder Zachary Oko. One of these days we will come with him to this church is a 
very good Bible teacher also. Siku moja atapata fursa ya kuja humo kanisani sababu yeye ni mwalimu wa Biblia nzuri sana. He's a member of your church. Yeye ni mshirika wa kanisa letu la sauti ya ukovu. I would like to pray with his children. Nataka niombe na watoto hawa whose, uh, whose results have come out from uh, KCPE ambao matokeo yao ya mtihani wa ya darasa la nane ishatoka and where the child is not around i will ask the parent just to come mahali mtoto hata kuepo nitaomba mzazi wake aweze kuja kwa niaba ya mtoto wake to stand with the, with the child even though the child is not here ili aweze kusimama na mtoto ingawaje mtoto hayupo hapa but if you are here and your child is also here na kama mtoto mwanafunzi yu hapa na mamake mzazi pia yu hapa I will ask you to all come together nitawaomba nyote wawili mtakuja pamoja we, we pray for them ili tuweze kuwaombea some will be going to boarding school wengine wata uh, uh, watajiunga na mashule za uh, what do you call it bwele za bweni and uh, they are also as they go to form 1 even if it is day school na hata wengine wanapojiunga na kidato cha kwanza ama iwe ni shule ya kwenda na kurudi nyumbani the child will begin to be an adult and away and away and away from home na mtoto ataendelea kuwa mtu mzima akiwa mbali na kwenda endelea kukaa mbali na nyumbani my prayer is that God will be with each and every child of voice of salvation and healing church. Ombi langu ni kwamba Mungu aweze kuwa na kila mtoto wa kanisa la sauti ya ukovu na uponyi. Nancy Akoth who was at a young primary school. Jina lako likitajwa unasimama Nancy Akoth. Um, you are familiar with these names uh, my brother secretary read them for me. Nikitaja jina lako unasimama unakuja mbele hapa na mzazi. Uh, Nancy Hoth ulikuwa ukisoma Ayany Primary School. Tafadhali simama na mzazi wako. Kama Nancy ayupo wapi mzazi? Kama mzazi yuko kuja na Nancy hapa mbele. And very fast unaitika na unakuja. Nancy Hoth Continue, you. continue. Uh, Masi Monica Simonike and then continue, continue Adeline right? Akinyi yeah, just do it fast Roslyn uh, Mutusi sorry you might have to come in from Roslyn Mut yeah. Mu Roslyn Mutesi Linda Akinyi and stand Rose Atieno Rose Atiena uh, Shanis Akot Shanis where are you Shanis Akot wapi mzazi Wapi Shaniz? Wapi mzazi wa Shaniz? Tafadhali njoo hapa mbele mam. Then Emmanuel Rairo. Emmanuel, where is Emmanuel? Uh, represented by you. Okay, Mary Atieno. Mary Atieno. Mary Atieno. Then uh, Didan Otieno. Didan Otieno, you wapi? Wapi Didan? Wapi mzazi? Tafadhali wazazi watakuja Dida Notieno ndio anawakilishwa na mzazi George Odiambo wapi George Odiambo mzazi yuko wapi Anybody who knows that family to represent them here George Odiambo alikuwa anasomea Olympic uko wapi Okay next Elisha Shadrach kuja hapo Emakiles Walter Immaculate Walter, where are you? Please come. We have Graka Michelle. Graka Michelle, thank you. Rosaline Genada, thank you. George Otieno. George Otieno. George Akwapi, where is George Otieno? Thank you. Uh, Braxton Savia. Braxton Savia. Jabez Juma and uh, Beverly. Where's Beverly? 
Beverly, where are you? Are you Beverly? Where's Beverly? You're Beverly? Where's Beverly? Uh, Beverly, wherever you are, thank you. Now, tunasema hivi. Wewe uko hapa, wewe ni mzazi, na mtoto wako pia alifanya mtihani, na kwa sasa hivi, ako nyumbani, hayupo hapa. Tunataka tukupatia nafasi kwa naba ya huyo mtoto, amba alifanya mtihani, na kafanya vizuri. Unaeza kuja kwa naba yake, kama wewe ni mzazi, na uko hapo, mtoto ndi hayupo hapa, jina lake hatujaandika hapa. Na wewe ukija utatupatia jina lake ili tuweke hapa. Njoo hapa mbele utupatie jina na alama aliyopata tuandike hapa tafadhali. Ah mimi nisaidie hapa kwa njia haraka kusaidia kuandikisha majina. Okay fine just help out. Add the names. Wewe mzazi umekuja kwa niaba ya mtoto wako tafadhali andikisha jina hapa. Andikisha jina hapo Tusaidiane kwa njia ya haraka Mwengine Ukisha andikisha jina lako Unasumama kando wapate na fasi ya kudumia wengine Just walk to the phone Ukimaliza kwa andika unawata na fasi shule na alama hiyo pata kisha andikisha mami aya kata na pasi kani where's mama tata God bless you. Haya, nasoma majina ya watoto ambao wameongezo majina zao hapa. Tuko na Frederick Mugabe, hameakilishwa na nani? God bless you. Samuel Omondi. God bless you. Josiah Odero. Odera. God bless you. Bob Otieno. God bless you. Faith Aloich. God bless you. Doreen Juma. Una, una represent wawili Okay, Janet Atieno God bless you uh, Bida Akinyi God bless you J uh, uh, Topista Adhiambo God bless you Shayan Adhiambo Shalma Adhiambo Then Elvis Omondi Je kuna mtu wako hapa na jina mtu wako ijandikwa Kwa wale wako hapa we are all taken care of. Thank you. Um, our wonderful, wonderful daughters and sons. Wana wetu wakupendeza ya ajabu. I want you to know that as you go to form one, Nataka mujue ya kwamba mnapo jiunga na kidato cha kwanza 
God is going to go with you. Mungu ataweza kwenda pamoja nawe. And God is going to bless you and bless that child even if they are up country. Mungu ataweza kubariki na pia ambariki yule mtoto hata kama amesafiri nyumbani. Even if the child sat for exams at home, God is going to bless that child today because we are going to pray for them. Hata kama huyo mtoto alifanya mtihani akiwa nyumbani, Mungu ataweza kumbariki sababu tunaenda kumuombea leo hii. And I'm going to lay my hands on top of these names. Na mimi nitaweza kutia mkono wangu juu ya majina yenu hapa kwa karatasi. And I want to urge you. Nataka niwahimize that as you go to form 1 ya kwamba mnapojiunga na kidato cha kwanza go and be a shining example of godliness in that school mwende muonyeshe mfano wa kumcha Mungu katika shule zenu all and anything that some people do that derail them from education let that be far away from you kila kitu away from you kila kitu na chochote kile watoto wengine wanafanya ambao inawatenganisha na njia ya Mungu iwe mbali na nyenye kabisa join the christian union in that school ungana na maungano ya wakristo katika shule hiyo and in some schools there could be many unions katika mashule zingine kunao maungano tofauti tofauti za Kikristo. But only go in the one which believes in the salvation of the soul of man and believes in the filling of the spirit and also believes in walking in holiness. Mujiunge na maungano ambayo inaamini katika kuokolewa kwa nafsi ya mtu na pia kujazwa na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu na kuweza kuenenda katika njia ya Kikristo. There are many things you will find in form 1. Kunazo vitu vingi mtakutana nazo mkijiunga na kidato cha kwanza. Some might want to attract you to join cultic pra practices in secondary school. Wengine wenda wakawavutia mjiunge na wanaoabudu shetani and some will come to you in a very cunning way na wengine watakuja kwenu kwa njia ya utani saying that god is god you just come we will pray for you and if we do this your parents will get a lot of money if we do this you will become this or that watakwambia ndo tuombe hakuna kitu kibaya tukikuombea wazazi wako watakuwa na pesa nyingi na tukikuombea hiki na kile kitafanyika Then there are those who also peddle and sell drugs even though they are in school. Hata kunao wale wanafunzi ambao wanauza madawa za mihadarati, madawa za kulevia wakiwa shuleni. Don't accept even free things like people giving you peremende or or biscuits in school. Musikubali kuchukua vitu ambavyo mnapewa bure iwe ni peremende, iwe ni biskuti shuleni or they are being sold as it were at low prices hata zile vitu ambazo zinauzwa kwa njia bei rahisi sana many of them in schools nowadays they put drugs on them so that you keep on taking and before you know it you become a drug addict wengi wao wanatia dawa ya kulevia ndani ya zile vitu ambavyo wanaviuza wewe utakuwa unanunua ukila unanunua ukila mpaka uwe na mazoea ya kutumia madawa ya kulevia if you have to be hungry because you never ate it will be fine kama itakubidi ubaki na njaa sababu haujapata kitu ya kukula baki hivyo na itakuwa ni sawa but don't accept to be lured by any other girl or any man to do and corner or run away from school do something and then come back don't na usikubali kudanganywa na mwanamume ama mwanamke yoyote kukuambia piga kona fanya hii na hiki la usitende and some of them may even include your own teachers na wenda hata walimu wao wenu wakawa na tabia hiyo pia now the world has changed ulimwengu 
umebadilika and you have a right to say no even to the teacher uko na haki ya kusema la hata kwa walimu wenu and if you are being pushed too hard amen if you are being pushed too hard if, if you are being pushed okay. by that person ukiwa unaskumwa sana na huyo mtu send word to your guardian or to your parents Tuma, if you don't have any of those send word to the pastor tuma ujumbe kwa mzazi wako ama msimamizi wako na kama hauna mzazi ama msimamizi tuma ujumbe kwa mchungaji wako they will come to that school to rescue you don't What? keep quiet when you are suffering watakuja pale shuleni kukusaidia usinyamaze kama unateseka because we want all those children to go through, through school properly na tunataka watoto wote wa kanisa la sauti uokovu waende shuleni na wasome vilivyo because when you get good education you glorify god sababu ukipata maalimu uh, nini uh, walimu ambao inastahili itatukuza jina la Mungu and don't be satisfied with reaching from four na usijitosheleshe na kufika kidato cha nne peke yake from four is good But in terms of the world of today it is also not good enough. Kidato cha nne ni nzuri lakini kulingana na ulimwengu wa kisasa hiyo haitoshi. Your eyes must be on the university. Lengo lako liwe ni macho ni ya kutizamia chuo kikuu. Because it is the first degree which nowadays we call basic education. Sababu shahada ya kwanza ndio tunaita masomo ya chini kabisa It's just merely knowing how to read and write and knowing a few things Inafananishwa na kujua namna ya kusoma na kuandika Have your eyes on what? Weka Have your eyes on what? Tell me loudly Have your eyes on what? And begin to think what is it I want to become Na uanze kujiuliza ni nini nataka kufanya baada ya kumaliza chuo kikuu? It's okay you can change your mind later but begin to say I would like to be. Ni sawa unaweza badilisha nia yako baadaye lakini kwa sasa hivi sema ningependa kuwa hivi. Begin to focus on what you would want to be. Do you understand? Begin to dream. Anza kutafakari na kuona ndoto. And I want every boss child in west of Nairobi to dream big nataka kila mtoto ambaye mzazi wake na mshirika wa kanisa sauti wakovu na uponyaji wa uh, 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 Nairobi West aanze kuota ndoto kubwa kubwa big big dreams ndoto kubwa amen amen and then remember na kisha kumbuka when all will have been done and said baada ya yote kusemwa na kutendwa my brother auxiliary ndugu wangu auxiliary I want all of them plus others who will follow them. Nataka wote pamoja na wale watakao wafuata. You remain here here in voice of salvation and healing church. Usalie papa hapa katika kanisa la sauti ya ukovu na uponye. The tears that your parents have shed. Majonzi ambao wazazi wako wametoa. And guardians pamoja na walinzi wenu ama wale ambao wamesimama na wewe ukafika mahali umefika those are tears of voice of salvation and healing church hizo ni majonzi ya kanisa la sauti ya ukovu na uponyi when you are finished you come back and continue right here in this church and support it to grow na ukimaliza urudi uendelee ndani ya hii kanisa ili uendelee kuisaidia ikienda mbele don't get persuaded by some people oh, let's go here let's go here now that is that don't believe that usije ukashawishika na wengine jiunge na kanisa hili ama lile tafadhali usikubali hiyo auxiliary and uh, assistant uh, your assistant please askofu na mchungaji chefa tafadhali these dear ones simama nyuma ya hao wapendwa and other women leaders na viongozi akina mama wengine tafadhalini can you please uh, stand behind them simameni nyuma ya hawa watoto where is uh, our pastor the one who was leading the meeting when i came in wapi ule mchungaji wetu aliyekuwa kiongoza mkutano nilipokuja hapa please come 
Tafadhali njo uh, about, uh, ule, binti, yule binti ule binti hapa Tafadhali Josephine Where are you Uko wapi Josephine She's called Josephine Sister Josephine Okay And cell group leaders also please Viongozi ya makundi tafadhali simama nyuma ya hawa Cell group leaders you have come Cell group leaders tafadhali viongozi are all there I hope uh, 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 and I'm praying na sasa ninaomba, as I hold before God these names ya Mungu majina haya. and I lay my hands on them na wangu juu yao. and we pray now let us all bow down our heads and pray Father God in the name of Jesus Christ I lift up these names before you and Lord God of heaven, I pray that you bless each one of them. And as they go to form one, go with each one of them. To the various schools they will go to, go with each one of them. And bless them, Father. Provide whatever will be required as their contribution to school fees. Heavenly Father, I pray that these children will go not only to Form 1, but right on through to university, to the glory and honor of your name. And I pray you will keep them in Form 1. You will keep them in Form 2. You will keep them in Form 3. You will keep them in Form 4. And you will keep them in colleges and universities in the days that lie ahead. And keep them, Father, in the faith that they may grow to fear your name. And as I lay my hands on each and every name, Heavenly Father, I pray that you cover them with your blood. You cover them with your grace. You cover them, O oh God, with your mercy. Glorify your name, I pray this afternoon in Jesus' mighty name. Praise be to God. Amen. 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 Just raise up your hands and thank God, all of you here. Just raise your hand. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let us all give a big clap to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Praise God. So, I want to release you. If you happen to be in the same school with another member of Vos, kama utakuta uko kwa shule moja na mshirika wa kanisa la Vos, look for each other. Tafuta mwenzio. Be having a time of prayer even if it's just for a few minutes. Muwe na wakati wa kuomba hata kama ni kwa muda mfupi. Because what we are saying if you are Vos, sababu kile tunasema ni kwamba kama wewe ni mshirika wa Vos, always Vos. Kila wakati utabaki vosh. Look for each other, pray together. Tafuta mwenzio, mupate kuomba pamoja. Even if you are in day school. Hata kama kwa katika shule ambapo unaenda ukirudi nyumba. During break time or at whatever time, for a few minutes, just pray together. Even if just for five minutes. Wakati wa mapumziko, hata kama ni kwa dakika tano, mupate kuomba pamoja. And may God bless each one of you. Mungu aweze kubariki kila mmoja wenu. Amen. I want to Amen. greet each one of you now as Nataka you pass. Nataka nisalimie kila mmoja yes, wenu. Thank you. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And God bless you. God bless you tonight. And God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you as you God go to God bless you. God bless you Mungu and God go with you. Mungu akubariki. The Lord go with you. Mungu The Lord go with you. Mungu akubariki. The Lord go with that child. The Lord go with your child. Amen. The Lord go with that child. Amen. The Lord go with that child. Amen. Amen. The Lord go with that child. Amen. 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 God bless Amen. you. Amen. God bless you, Walter. Amen. Thank you. God bless Amen. you. Amen. The Lord go with that child. Amen. The Lord go with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters also. The Amen. Lord go with you. Amen. The Lord go with you. Amen. The Lord go with you. Amen. The Lord cover you. Amen. May He bless you. Amen. May He cover you. Amen. And bless that child. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May that child be blessed. Amen. 
May that child be blessed. May that child be blessed, my brother. May that child be blessed. May that child be blessed. May that child be blessed. Thank you, Pastor. To me, Kwangu mimi, that was so important. Hiyo ilikuwa ya muhimu sana. That even if we ended it there, it would still the service would still have been complete. Hata tungemalizia hapo bado ingekamilika. Let us encourage our children to know to love education. Wacha tuhimize watoto wetu wajue na wapende kisomo and also parents to love education now wazazi pia wapende masomo it opens doors beyond what you can think or imagine inafungua malango zaidi ya jinsi unavyoweza fikiri we are going to read from the book of revelation tunaenda kusoma biblia kutoka kwa kitabu cha ufunuo chapter 22 ufunuo 22 from verse 12 kutoka aya ndogo 12 up to 17 hadi 17 under the theme you have for this year na ile mada kuu mlionayo kwa mwaka huu open flood gates malango ya lowazi of heavenly favor yanayofurika na kibali cha kiungu and based on second kings chapter 7 verses 1 and 16 nayo toka katika wafalme wa pili saba aya ndogo moja na 16 praise be to god for that bwana yesu asifiwe kwa hiyo today leo in the brief sharing i'm going to do katika kushirikiana kwa kimuktasari i will title my subject as nitaitia mada semi wangu hivi reward according to my work kwamba kutuza kulingana na kazi yangu according to my work kadri ya kazi yangu and i'm going to ask uh, who is going to read for me i will read i am ready yes you will read okay uh, our first reading comes from the book of revelation chapter number 22 from verse 12 onwards and here it goes eh? listen says jesus i am coming soon i will bring my rewards with me to give to each one according to what he has done i am the first and the last the beginning and the end happy are those who wash their robes clean and so have the right to eat the fruit from the tree of life and to go through the gates into the city but outside the city are the perverts and those who practice magic the immoral and the murderers those who worship idols and those who are liars both in words and deeds i jesus have sent my angel to announce these things to you in the churches i am descended from the family of david I am the bright morning star chapter uh, verse 17 the spirit and the bride say come everyone who hears this must also say come come whoever is thirsty accept the water of life as a gift whoever wants it verse 18 i john solemnly warn everyone who hears the prophetic words of this book if anyone adds anything to them god will add to his or her punishment the plagues described in this book and if anyone takes anything away from the prophetic words of this book god will take away from them their share of the fruit of the tree of life and of the holy city which are described in this book verse 20 he who gives his testimony to all this says yes indeed i'm coming soon does it rest there just end it okay which is our next reading amen amen even so even so what amen are you with your bibles 
Amen. What does it say after the word amen? Amen, even so, come, come Jesus. Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord be with you all. Amen. amen. He has read a little more. He's a generous man. Amesoma kwa ukarimu kidogo. But we will still share from what he has read. Bali tutazidi kushirikiana kwa kile alichokisoma. Now this it was the end of revelation as given to John in the island of Patmos. Sasa hii ilikuwa mwisho wa ufunuo aliopewa Yohane pale kisiwani Patimo. And the words of Jesus Christ himself Na haya maneno ya Yesu Kristo mwenyewe. He says I am coming quickly. Anasema kwamba naja upesi and I will reward every man. Na nitatuza kila mja. I will reward every man. Nitamtuza kila mmoja. Everyone. Kila mmoja according to his work. Kadri ya kazi yake. I am the alpha and the omega. Mimi ndiye alpha tena omega the beginning and the end Mwanzo tena mwisho the beginning and the end Mwanzo na hata mwisho And friends as we share this afternoon Marafiki tunaposhirikiana dhuhuri It is to share with you and inform you and remind you Ni kushirikiana nawe kukujuza na kukukumbusha that the coming back of Jesus Christ is promised by Jesus himself. Kwamba kurejea kwa Yesu Kristo ni ahadi iliyopewa naye Yesu mwenyewe. And he says that when he comes back. Na anasema atakaporejea, he will reward each one of us according to our work. Atamtuza kila mmoja kulingana na kazi yake. It means that there is something that each one of us must do. Inamaanisha kunayo jambo ambapo kila mmoja wetu anatakiwa kutenda to receive the reward from Jesus Christ himself. Ili aweze kupokezwa tuzo toka kwa Yesu mwenyewe. But he said it is according to our works. Naye anasema ni kadri ya kazi yetu. And our works can be different. Sasa matendo yetu yanaweza kuwa tofauti. And the Bible talks about many of them. Na Biblia inanena kuyahusu. But then there is also the reward which will come from doing good as you work and walk with this God. Nayo tena kunayo tuzo ambayo itakuja kutokana na matendo mema unapotenda na kuenenda na huyu Mungu. He says his reward is with him. Anasema kwamba hiyo tuzo ipo naye. It is not something to be looked for. Sio jambo la kwenda kuishughulika kutafuta. It will be ready as he comes. Itakuwa tayari atakaporejea. But then I want us to share and see what then he says. Na sasa nataka tushirikiane na tuone kile anachokisema. And that is from verse 14. Kutoka katika aya ndogo 14. From verse 14 he says this. Kutoka aya ndogo 14 anasema haya. Blessed are those who do his commandments. Wamebarikiwa wale wanaotenda sheria ya Bwana. Who do his commandments? Wale wanaotenda sheria zake. That they may have the right to the tree of life. Ili waweze kupata haki katika mti wa uzima. My sister Celestine Walter, can you read for us again verse 14? Nasoma aya ndogo 14. Inasema, Blessed are those who do his commandments that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. Into the city. Katika miji. Because there is a gate for getting into heaven. Sababu kunayo mlango wa kuingia mbinguni. And the Bible says that when God brings the history of the world to an end, Na Biblia inasema wakati Mungu atatamatisha historia ya dunia and he will indeed bring the history of, of the world to an end. Na hakika ataweza kuitamatisha historia ya dunia. And when we will all be on the journey going home. 
Na wakati wote tutasafiri kwenda nyumbani. The Bible of course tells us that some of us will have slept already in the ground. Biblia inasema huenda wengine wetu tutakuwa tayari tumelala tuko mchangani. Just like our brother Juma slept Alivyo lala ndugu wetu Juma. Some two weeks or so ago. Juma mawili hivi iliyopita. The Bible says those who will follow our brother Juma will also be resurrected. Biblia inasema watakao mfuata ndugu wetu Juma nao pia watafufuliwa. And then we will all meet Jesus Christ in the air as he comes Ala, to receive us. Alafu sote tutaenda kumlaki Yesu Kristo mawinguni anapokuja kutupokea. And those of us who know geography you might ask and say but what if he's coming from the north pole or from the south pole or from the east or from the west how will we know? Sasa wanaoelewa geografia wanaweza kujiuliza itakuwaje kama atatoka kaskazini au kusini au mashariki itakuwaje The Bible says that as the light shines in the east and it is seen in the west in the same same way the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ will not be hid from the eyes of any man or any woman in the whole universe Biblia inasema jinsi jua inavongaa kutoka mashariki na wale walioko magaribi wa magaribi wanaiona ndivyo ilivyo mwana wa Adamu atakaposhuka watu wote ulimwenguni wataweza kumuona so nuru ya kurejea kwake itakuwa imeangaza sana ambapo hata kama ni wakati wa giza wa wakati wa winter kule kaskazini yes there will be enough light to open the entire universe for everyone to see the coming of Jesus Christ. Hakika kutakuwa na nuru tosha imulike dunia watu wote ulimwenguni waweze kuona kurejea kwa Yesu Kristo. And what a day that will be. Na itakuwa siku ya aina gani? Because as that happens, sababu hiyo ikitendeka, graves will be busting open and bringing out people. Makaburi itakuwa inapasuka na kutema watu. Even those who have been burnt and ashes spread out in, in, the, in the forest or in the ocean or wherever it was. Na hata wale walio chomwa jivu yao ikatandazwa kote hata wale misituni na majini. And those who believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and were saved. Na wale walio muamini Yesu Kristo wakaokolewa. Will all rise up wote watainuliwa waweze kumlaki Yesu Kristo mawinguni na Biblia inasema matendo yao yatawaandama kile walichokitenda hii fungu la kumi ambayo wametoa fedha wanaotoa kwa ajili ya kujenga hekalu jinsi askofu alitueleza chochote walichotoa kwa sababu ya huduma ili iweze kuendelea mbele na chochote kile walichokitenda ili wajenge ufalme wa mbingu O oh, Biblia inasema hao kazi yao matendo yao itawafuata. Na mchana wa leo ninaposhirikiana nawe. Nataka nikuulize ni kipi kitakachokufuata siku ya Kristo kurejea. Ni kitu gani kitakachokuwa kinakufuata? Is it something like which doctors following you? Je, itakuwa ni kitu kama uchawi ambayo itakufuata? Will it be magendo which will be following you? Je, itakuwa ni magendo ambayo itakufuata? Will it be lying and stealing which will be following you? Je, itakuwa ni kusema uongo na wizi itakayokufuata? What is it which will follow you on the day of Christ? Ni kipi kitakachokufuata siku ya kurejea kwa Kristo? Whether Christ finds you alive or you will be resurrected from the grave 
what will follow you iwe kristo atakupata ukiwa hai ama wewe utafushwa toka katika kaburi ni kipi kitakachokufuata the bible says biblia inasema that those of us will be resurrected kwamba wale ambao watafufuliwa and those of us who will still be alive na wale ambao watakuwa wangali hai and have walked with god in holiness in the bible in the word and they have worked for this god na hao wameenenda na kristo katika utakatifu katika neno lake na wametenda kazi kwake huyo mungu the bible says as as those things follow them biblia inasema matendo hayo yakiwafuata and your tithes are following you Fungu la kumi yako itakufuata. Zaka zako zitakufuata. Fedha uliotoa katika hali ya kujenga hekalu ama kununua shamba jinsi tunavyotaka kufanya leo. All those will be following you. Hayo yote yatakuwa yanakuandama. Na yanapokufuata. The Bible says Biblia inasema you will have a right wewe utakuwa na haki you will have a right utakuwa na haki to the tree of life katika ule mti wa uzima hallelujah hallelujah this tree which was taken away from the garden of eden hii mti ambayo ilitwaliwa kule bustani eden when adam and eve sinned against the god wakati adamu na hawa walipotenda dhambi dhidi ya mungu that tree that tree that tree is waiting for you hiyo mti hiyo mti huo mti unakusubiri the bible says they will have a right to the tree of life biblia inasema watakuwa na haki kwa mti wa uzima and they will enter by the gate to the city na wataingia kupitia malango kuingia mjini they are not the people who will try to come in knocking from outside why it is too late hao sio wale watakao kuja kujaribu kubisha wakiwa nje ikiwa imechelewa then the bible says kisha biblia inasema outside of the city pale nje ya mji there will be dogs kutakuwa na mbwa and what else will be there na ni kipi kingine kitakuwa pale what else kingine kipi sorcerers wachawi what else will be out there kingine kipi kitakuwa pale those who are sexually what wale wazinifu why don't you say it aloud even if your mother in law is around say it aloud those who are wale wazinifu sexually immoral even if your ch- your son or daughter is around say it again sexually, sexually immoral sema tu kwa sauti and then the other ones who are outside will be who na wengine watakao kuwa nje watakuwa nani ma Murderers, murderers, murderers. Wauaji, wauaji. And who else? Na mwingine tena? Idolaters, those who your malamu ni sheche market. Waabudu sanamu. O wale nusu konchi elbende. Meokoka nusu lakini sehemu mwingine. O ramu gima o o o ramu gite mikuome. Yeye ni mlimwengu na wata sheria na utamaduni zote and kato manandalo makeo pod koko dwa bedo jaluo yeye hata wakati wa kupana na kuvuna anarejea kuwa mjaluo asili mano lamo nyiseke market huyo anaabudu sanamu kendo machielo enango tena kingine ni kipi ngata ngata mohero kendo matima ngo kendo maria mohero kendo timore nade kendo mariambo yule ambaye anapenda tena kusema uongo kendo kimichine samoriambo hata si ajabu kwake kendo kopari nyadirie ni katimora nade tangamoara tena hajiulizi anatenda nini na yeye mlokole nikich dik mupunge chunyi ngatoe madoge golo sababu yaliyo jamo yoni ndio mtu anasema kinywani kiki wena nene ngatokari yambo tori yambo usidhani mtu akisema uongo anadanganya tu made dik mupunge chunye hayo ndio yamejaa moyoni mwake en katiket police ba fedi bunde mondrite yeye hata uweke polisi kando yake na bunduki amlinde bado anadanganya kati tere bitwe eyot 
Move Tena pale kuna kusaga meno Itakuwa pale na itadumu milele Hawataona Hawataona hiyo siku Kama mtu anakula Hawataona hiyo mti ambayo mtu wakikula atakuwa mzima milele Tena wataona Malango ya dhahabu Ambayo tutatembea kwayo Ambayo tutatembea katika Yerusalemu mpia Katika hiyo boma ya wapendwa Pale kwa walokole Watakatifu wabayo wameamini wakae na kutakaso kwa damu Eka Dipo hiyo mti ya uzima ambayo tulinyanganyo kule bustani ya deni Kila moja atapokezwa Ata kama natoka India Ata kama natoka Uchina Ata kama natoka Afrika Ata toke Marikani Ata kama ni ukule Ata toke nchigani Ata toke nchigani yeye atakula lotunda Tena atakuwa na uzima wa milele na milele Haleluya Huyo mungu ananena nasi ni kitamatisha Anasema mimi yesu Aya ndogo kumina sita Mimi yesu Nimemtuma malaika wangu awathibitishieni mambo haya katika makanisa mimi ni mzawa wa ukoo wa Daudi mimi ni nyota angavu ya asubuhi amen 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 i jesus and mimi yesu have sent my angel to testify to you this thing nimemtuma malaika wangu awathibitishieni mambo haya i am the root mimi ni mzawa and the Offering, na tena sadaka, offspring, sadaka of David. Katika ukoo wa Daudi. I am the bright and morning star. Mimi ni nyota ngavu ya subui. That Jesus. Huyo ni Yesu Ata kwa ujumbe Ujumbe wa siku za mwisho Na wewe Na yule alia hapa leo Uamue That yes, I am going to walk with Jesus. Kwamba mimi ni taenenda na Yesu. I am going to walk with this Jesus. Mimi according to the scriptures, not according to myself. Mimi ni taenenda na uyo Yesu kulingana na maandiko, sio kulingana na mapenzi yangu. And he knows you. Na anakujua. And he knows me. Ananijua. And my brother, my sister. Dugu yangu, dada yangu. What is it which will follow you? Ni kipi kitakacho kufuata. When Christ comes, Christo atakapo rejea. I want us to bow down our heads. Taka tuina miche chuo vietu. We are going to be praying shortly. Tuta omba karibuni. And if you are there, kama uko pale. And you have never known the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Na hau pata kumjua Yesu Christo kama mokozi wako. And today you are saying yes. I would like to know this Jesus as Lord. Na leo unasema ndivyo, nataka ni mbuyu Yesu kama buwana. Maybe you are also here. Wenda uko hapa. Something went wrong in your life. Kuna jambo ambayo halikuwa sawa maisha ni mwaka. And the joy of salvation is not there the way it was. Na furaha ya wakovu haipo tena jinsi livyo kuwa. Whatever it was. Chochote kilicho kuwa hicho. Jesus is. Is the forgiver of sin. Yesu ndio yule anaye samehe dhambi. He washes. Yeye anasafisha. As white as snow. Ikawa safi kama pamba. And he forgives and forgives completely. Na yeye anasamehe na kusamehe kabisa. 
Yes, you may want me also to pray for you. Ndivyo, huenda unaweza taka niombe na wewe. Whatever the need it may be. Hitaji lolote kile ulichonacho. The God we serve is able to do exceedingly above all things that we think or ask for. Mungu tunayemtumikia yuna uwezo wa kutenda zaidi ya vile tunavyoviomba hata kufikiria. He can do the same thing for you. Yeye anaweza kutenda hilo hilo jambo kwako. Because he loves you the way you are. Sababu anakupenda hivyo jinsi ulivyo. And he says, "Yes, come." Na anasema ndivyo njo. Oh, you labor and are heavy laden. Njooni nyote mliobebana na mizigo mizito. And I will give you rest. Nami nitawapumzisha. He will give you rest. Yeye atakupumzisha. Obromi iwe yokuwa. Atakupumzisha leo. Obromi iwe yokuwa. Atakupumzisha leo. Yemia yani Yesu aiye. Muaminie tu useme Yesu nimeamini. Kawono nieri. Leo hii poknowarito ilka hujaokoka na uko hapa kana no se wari to gik moko no ga yore ngimani ama uliokoka na vitu zikaenda kombo maishani mwako mineno kaber kod mit marwaru mokuongo no way ukaona kama wema na utamu wa wokovu wa kwanza ulikuacha nyasaino nyaloromo kodika uono eyo manyen kijene mondo timmano huyo mungu anaweza patana na wewe kwa njia mpya ukimruhusu kutenda hayo kain kati ndoro ni mondo walam kodi kama uko hapa na unataka tuombe na wewe tengane badi malo kama itie hebu nyosha mkono wako juu popote ulipo mondo nyasachwa ni oromie kodi ili huyu mungu wetu akutane na wewe ojarom kodi ji yeye ukutana na watu. Yeye ufungua watu pia. Obirogonyi. Atakufungua. Obiroweni. Atakusamehe. Atakupea ukumbaji upya. Obiroloko kitingima. Atabadilisha maisha yako. Owacho ni tich katich mara ngato obirorowe. Amesema kazi ya mtu itamfuata. Kawono ni yeri. Leo hii. Chaka ni tich maber. Ebu anza kazi njema. Kigocho ngine nyasai. Ikiwa umepiga magoti yako kwa Mungu. Mondo tijinero ochakre manyen engimani. Ili hiyo kazi ianze upya maisha ni mwako. Jogo dutu madoni mondo lamneji. Wale wote ambao wanataka waombewe. Kori uja kagejo motingo badiji. Pamoja na wale walioinua mkono. Chungane urumalo keno mondo ubinyimeka. Simameni katika mngu alafu mje hapa mbele. Just come forward. Kuja mbele, kuja mbele. I would like to pray with you. Nataka ili niombe na wewe na niweze kukugusa na najua Mungu atakugusa Wale katika kundi la sifa give us a song tupe wimbo as these loved ones come forward wapendwa hao wanapokuja hapa mbele very relevant to the occasion the solemn time we have wimbo ambayo nausika na wakati tuliomo that god may do a new work ili mungu aweze kutenda jambo jipya in the life of this dear one katika maisha ya wapendwa hawa he is going to do it yeye atatenda thank you praise be to god Yes, Father God, these dear ones have come before you. Just minister to them as we pray. Just come and minister to them. Minister to them. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, of all creation. I pray, Lord, our God. Let you minister to each one of them. 